All right. Hey, we're back with another uh, Prime Rando routing guide uh, where I'll be talking through my thought process and decision making. Um, again, this is not supposed to be a trick tutorial or anything like that. This is just going to be uh, running through our standard weekly seed uh, and doing as best as we can and hopefully explaining some of the thinking. Uh, that's going on in the background that helps with our routing, um, eliminating backtracking, kind of following the order of progression. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, it is uh, first thing in the morning for me, so let's hope that uh, <laughs> I'm not too rusty. So one of two checks open to us on the beginning is Alcove. And this is going to be a missile. And it is our logical launcher. Okay. So that's good to know. Uh, we've got what down here? Bombs. Awesome. So with a uh, missile launcher, uh, really with any missiles, we're going to uh, head to Artifact Temple first. And we're going to read hints immediately this time. If you watch the uh, first episode um because i plan on doing a few of these uh, i have two schools of thought of when to read hints uh if you get them immediately like here uh i like to read them now uh because if there's an artifact in transport tunnel b or uh ruined shrine you can kind of avoid those checks for a little bit so but if you find them a little bit later, then uh, I don't mind. Like, if you pick up a missile and you have to return to Talon, um, I usually grab them a little bit later. Morph. Okay. Interesting. So our standard six artifacts. We'll uh, look at them on the way out. Pen and pencil ready. We'll try to do two at a time. Transport access. Ice runs east. Hopefully that's not locked by spider or we find an early spider. Watery hall and root courtyard. Gravity chamber. Triclops pit. Cool. So those aren't bad. I say that. Uh, so with Morph, uh, I'm thinking that we want to go to Forget Crash Site. It's not in logic yet, uh, but considering we have everything we need to check it, and this is kind of going to be one of the only early parts where we'll have the opportunity to check this. Unless we find Space Jump and Ice Beam, but uh, I doubt that. So even if we can't, get this item based on your skill levels. Uh, it can be good to at least peek this. Miss the dash. There's an E-tank. I'm going to use an underwater slope here to get this. go so yeah not too bad like if you can especially if you can get this now with like minimal requirements um definitely good to check this otherwise if you if you know you can't get it uh you might opt to leave it for now until you get like grapple or um space jump Oh, we almost forgot. Uh, we've got <laughs> we've got our bombs in the back here. That is uh, pretty core. That's that. <laughs> My brain's still not awake, bit. But 
with bombs. That is going to make us very happy. We're going to be able to clean up a good part of early Chozo with that. And because there's nothing, uh, no artifacts in Transport Tunnel B, I'm more inclined to go this way now. My bets are that it isn't going to be anything since we already got progression of morph and bombs. And we should be working on our last uh, progressing uh, item, which is, which would be bombs. So definitely didn't think this was going to be anything, but it's a convenient time to get it. And if it's like, because it's an early check, if it's something like space jump and we forego it, it can be a bit of a pain. It is kind of s slow to climb Root Cave, but... You gotta make some decisions at some point. So with bombs, uh, we can check um, Ruin Shrine. Fortunately, we can't see the upper item. We can try to peek it, but uh, definitely won't be getting it yet. There's a missile, more missiles, and a missile on uh, Vault Ledge as well. Hard to see that probably on the recording, but shows up here. missiles early on can be helpful it's our main source of damage and that's various suit so that is a big find and so now we now we know that um, bombs led into varia which is a uh, pretty key information uh, that might mean our next progression is in um, is in magmar but because of the amount of checks in early Chozo, I'm not inclined to go there yet. Like, there's still a lot we can do here. And while our last progression is... Is Varia. Just like the amount of checks here is going to be important to grab. So we're just going to continue through. And there's our space jump. And our thermal. <laughs> okay. Uh, so with space jump, not really thinking of much else opening up uh, a few things in Magmore um, like Warrior Shrine but realistically nothing important but it will help our movement And so we're probably going to head into mid Chozo out of this. Um, heading to Magmor here is an option. But again, there's still like 10 items <laughs> in uh, mid Chozo that we can grab. So I'm inclined to stick around. And we can always take the, uh, the save warp and go to the Fiery Shores elevator in Talon.
Uh, and I'm realizing that uh, we've unfortunately missed um, the upper rune shrine check. And probably now is like the best, one of the better times to go back. Kind of slow for this. But with space jump being our last progression, I'm more inclined to just peek what this is. Take a little bit of a detour. And it's just missiles. Because ideally we don't want to dip Ruin Shrine too many times. Because um, we'll probably have to come back if we find Wave Beam at some point. So... That'll be a third time if we end up having to go to Tower of Light. Missile and Fountain. Oops. Got bonked by a vine there. We're going to check Upper Gathering Hall in case it's a uh, spider. I don't know how many times I've seen spider here and then went uh, to Dynamo afterwards. Nice E-Tank. That's going to miss. Oh, it didn't miss. Okay. Whoops. That's all right. We fell, but uh, we're going to grab this lower item first. I'm actually going to pick out this energy tank. Yeah, again, if that's spider ball, then fantastic. So this will be our artifact up here. We'll pick it up on the way out so that the uh, eyeballs aren't active. That is nothing. Uh, I'm not the not the fastest player, but let's make some good routing decisions to make up for it. So at this point, uh, we're going to do incinerator drone, burn dome. Uh, and then we are going to probably take a peek at Upper Furnace and then save Warp out of here. Magmore's been open for a while and uh, I want to pursue that.
So again, incinerator drone will rotate 90 degrees its weak spots. So we just position ourselves accordingly. And the last one face towards the door because uh, when the fight ends, we'll already be facing towards the door. We can shoot it and roll out and it's fast. Just like that. Unfortunately, not a lot of not a lot of progression on this side of Chozo. This is kind of a slow puzzle to complete for two checks, but I think now is the correct time to do them because we're not going to be back here until like probably Ice Beam. into the corner, jump, don't hold L. Then we're going to peek the upper furnace item first. Missile. Alright, well, we're looking good on missiles. Hopefully we find beam combos to actually use them against final bosses, else uh, many of these will be pointless. Thank you, bats. Now we're gonna save warp out of here and go to uh, Fiery Shores. Actually, hold on, what's better here? That's a lot of rooms to get there. Yeah, I think this is better. That's a tough one, because this is a cup, this is what? A save warp plus an elevator, that one would be walking through a bunch of rooms plus one elevator, so I guess it depends on your movement probably more than anything, uh, because ideally we do like to route uh, the front of Magmor uh, from, from Lava Lake. Uh, but I guess a good thing about coming this way now is uh, because we've got space jump and bombs, morph, uh, we can feel confident in our arbor chamber out of bounds. Uh, again, we're going to do some things that are, aren't in logic, but are uh, competitive viable. So like we won't go too crazy with our tricks, but this is something you will see in competitive settings, so we're not gonna skip it just because it's not in logic. So Ice Spreader, that's very nice. That's those missiles I was talking about using. So a little slope jump there. If you just land on any of this, then you can just jump forwards and right in the hole. All right, so nothing there, and this is a blue door. And 
now we enter Magmore Caverns. Uh, so we're pretty much going to go all the way to Lava Lake with this setup. Not a whole reason not to. And we got some E, so we'll take the shortcut through the lava. Just a missile up there, so I'm inclined to skip it. Take a peek what's in shorelines or uh, shore tunnel here. It's grapple beam. Okay, so we probably don't have to go back for that, but it's good to know that uh, grapple is blocked by power bombs and. Um, That grapple could be logical pretty soon if we find those. So that might might point us all the way back to like um, magma pool, honestly. We wouldn't do magma pool until wave beam though, probably as well. So we can look at uh, what's it called? Training chamber, training chamber access, but. Also, I realized a routing mistake there. Uh, I much w would have rather went to um, all the way to Lava Lake, came back, and then did Warrior Shrine because if this ends up being a power bomb, uh, we could have checked uh, upper fiery shores. So that is a mistake on uh, my part, but uh, that is something that you can uh, learn from in the future. We are going to make mistakes here occasionally, but it's when we can identify those mistakes and think about it for next time that we improve as players. Routing mistakes will happen, trick mistakes will happen. Keeping moving is the most important thing. If you dilly-dally on decisions, you're going to lose time. Um, I usually wouldn't grab this, but... I'm thinking in the back of my mind right now. Uh, so we've got Lava Lake, and then we wrote to Transport Tunnel A and Fendrana. Triclops is being exceptionally mean today. And yeah, especially because Grapple Beam's locked by Power Bombs, Magma Pool looks even better because that's a Power Bomb check. So, it will be interesting to see when we actually end up getting um, Power Bombs. Even a Power Bomb would be nice at this point. Uh, the first expansion uh, would allow us to to do a lot. All right, still nothing. Using this standable recently, I don't think I like it. I've been trying to get better at it, but I just I'm not as familiar. Slope jump works better for me, so I'm gonna keep doing that. Yep. All right, wave beam. Big find. Uh, that'll allow us access to really the rest of Fendrana, like that's a lot of the game opened up. So happy to see that. Um, we are going to still 
be quite thorough in uh, the front of Fendrana because there's a lot of checks here and something could easily be locked by Plasma Beam that we have to come back for. Uh, so up there, can't exactly see what that is as a missile. Uh, so we're going to head this way first. Actually, no, we're not. Why would I ever do that? Uh, there's nothing we can get over there. So let's... Um... That is a Metroid. So nothing. Uh, we don't have Plasma or Spider, so there's no reason to go to Ice Runes East right now. Um, we can come back. Uh, we can go there on the way back, because if this ends up being Spider or Plasma in uh, Chapel of the Elders, then we can get one of those items. And if not, uh, we'll probably go look just to know if we need Spider Ball or not, because we have that artifact in Ice Runes East. And it'll be good to get some of that data. Alright, let's see what we got. Nothing. Just some missiles. So we ignore that. Like I said, even though we can't get either of these items, just knowing what they are, because like one could, the spider track could be plasma beam, and the artifact be behind plasma. So I don't know why I try this so often. I don't get why I'm getting knocked off. All right, well, I need to check this anyways. So that is our artifact. Okay, so it's plasma beam locked. Which is great. Let's hope that nothing is in the, the spider track, because ideally we just can skip spider this seat. Awesome. Very cool. And we continue on our way. another peek at that Metroid up there. Uh, for Ice Runes West, we want to actually um, head towards uh, Fen Canyon first, and then we peek the item behind the ice uh, on the way towards Rune Courtyard, because... Uh, we're already climbing the room, and we don't want to have to climb the room twice. So just a minor optimization there. That is our plasma beam. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Snow Cone. So with Plasma, uh, we're actually going to take this back, uh, grab the artifact, and grab Chozo Ice. Um, ideally, we're never back in early Fen after this, so...
Cutscene. Ugh, stupid bats. Um, I'm doing this first just because uh, I like uh, the dashes you can do around uh, shorelines. Uh, in this direction first because you can dash to um, temple access and then you can dash towards ice runes east from there afterwards and there's our boost ball which is huge another good reason because yeah this will improve our movement considerably for the rest of the game so wonderful So with that, with boost, I'm inclined to go, more inclined, um, to go into labs. Uh, this could be our ticket um, to the back of labs, past observatory, since uh, we do need the vanilla requirements to get, to usually get through labs. And... Um, Even though we were going to do that anyways, like it's uh, where the most items are, where we're kind of currently routing to, um, having boost just kind of makes that even even better decision. damage there. Oops. Should have probably jumped on the higher ledge there. So this should be another artifact. We're setting at four of six, which is really good. Uh, we are going to take a save because it's right there and... <laughs> Our health is fairly low. Plus, we haven't saved in a while, and saving is good. Um, dying is bad. And, you know, crashes also can happen, depending on your setup. So, let's just avoid that by taking a save. So ideally, what we find here is Ice Beam, and then we, uh, <laughs> just go finish the game. Still need our Plasma Beam, but, or not Plasma, um, Phase on Suit. But, hopefully we'll just come across that when we're rounding up artifacts, and if not, we have our hint. Uh, we can try the peak for this. Honestly, I'm not... I used to be good with this, but now I've kind of lost track of what I'm actually doing here. Yeah. I wouldn't spend too much time on that one. Um, kind of an unfortunate thing to leave behind, but um, it is what it is. Uh, probably good for me, at least, to practice that peak. It's not that hard, and there is a setup for it, so it should be, uh, should really be something that's just in my permanent repertoire. And that was a really bad dash. Oh my god, I'm getting beat up here. I 
again, eh? tank kind of want it I switched to power beam here because there's a missile door you can switch back to wave now we got to do the control tower fight skip Good, eh? Fair enough. Gravity suit. Interesting. Uh, with thermal, uh, we still don't have ice beam for a frigate, so that's that's good. But, uh, yeah, I suppose it's got to be soon. We're running out of spots where that can be, which is really good. Could always be vanilla, though, which is unfortunate. Fully charged shot, and we'll destroy this guy. Take some extra missiles here. Uh, so at the top of uh, Research Core, there is a scan that will tell us what this item is and if we actually need to go grab it. Nothing. Okay, cool. So we're going to turn around here. This is kind of slow. This is one of the downsides of doing... Um, labs without ice beam but now we need to do some thinking which is uh where do we go to look for ice beam uh we still still don't have power bombs uh to get gravity or not gravity uh grapple beam sorry if i keep messing up items um but we know that that's that could be coming up in logic soon we got wave Wave gave us boost. So, there's some Chozo checks available. How to avoid these fight triggers. Uh, so we jump down here. if you walk off you'll probably get limited influence into the trigger so we want to avoid that um magmore workstation could be something Magmore workstation could be something. We do have... We do have thermal. But... I think the warp to start here is probably safer. Tower of Light. 
And if that is power bombs, that would put our grapple into logic, and that would probably tell me to do magma pool. And if not, we might just head, make our way towards um, vanilla ice. Surprised we haven't found a single power bomb expansion yet, honestly. That's good progression, at least. As long as we, um, as long as we're finding stuff here, like it doesn't, it's not gonna be a waste of time. And there's our first power bomb expansion. So fantastic. So that's, that's big. Uh, with that, we could go grab grapple beam. It's not logical yet, but. I'm kind of inclined to do Magma Pool off of that now. Honestly, I can't remember. This was just a missile, right? Nothing. Okay. So, this is where, like, knowing some advanced tricks can come in handy. Um, if you know how to do the magma pool dash. Uh, you could do it right now. Even, uh, we have gravity, so realistically there's uh, backup strats as well for just jumping straight out of the lava. So I feel like this is a pretty safe call, even for like more intermediate players. Uh, line yourself up the thing. I'm just gonna full scan it because I like to. Spider ball. Okay. Interesting. So spider ball is locked behind grapple, which is locked behind power bombs. That is good to know. So this is where we gotta start thinking about what's actually in logic. Um but realistically we can try to skip a few steps. Yeah, it didn't quite make it, unfortunate. Because with this, like, we could, we could do Flagra and Ghosts, which we might do, and then we can do, um, whoops, uh, then we can do uh, Upper Dynamo after this, and then head into far, uh, far Chozo. Oops. It's been a while since I climbed this room, apparently. There we go, there's the invisible standables. Unmorph here, and you can open the door first.
never seen the fauna stay around for so long. Sure, if that hit, why not? Flogger's lighting us up. Oh my god, bailed out. Uh, okay, so our remaining things, we've got, let's see, transport access, ice runes east, uh, water hell we got, rune courtyard we got, um, tricons we got, what was GC? <laughs> I forget that one already. Gravity chamber. Okay, so we just need to go to Farfen. Okay, fantastic. That's, um... Uh, best way is probably just to take a save, honestly. Actually, no. I th yeah, I think it is. Take the save. Okay, sweet. Well, we're in go mode, basically. Uh, so my routing plan here is to take a save warp, um, go to Fiery Shores, transport it in Talon, and then um, head to Farfen from there. And then we can save warp out of, out of Frost Cave, and that'll be the end game. Realistically, what I think you could have also done is just go through Vault and take the transport there. Um, probably would have been around equal time, depending on how your movement is, especially if you got boost. Like, probably not that bad. So, that's another option. another uh, mindsless seed it seems and we need a non jet seed so that we can um, discuss our routing choices a little bit better like yeah we got to talk through some stuff here but uh, if it's uh, you know such a quick seed um, there's not a lot of like complex thinking to do at times but hopefully this is still helpful uh, so we're going to head to the left here. <laughs> Failed the R jump apparently, but uh, we have gravity so we can just jump out. And that is logical by the way, so... Switch to our wave beam, grab a lock on to one of these guys. We're going to dash across. There's another fun moving room. We are jumped to this guy and dash off this guy. Okay, transport access, gravity chamber. How to get to Frost Cave after that? Gotta imagine we 
want to go through Farfen. Yeah. At least that's the decision I'm making. Some pretty quick rooms that way, so. You gotta hit that ice beam shot on the way up. Drop all the way down. Oh my god, that flog replay. So good. Yeah, you find uh, find Spider there. It's a nice time, because that means you don't have to worry about um, leaving behind uh, Artifact of Wild and Ghosts. So Honestly, we don't have a lot of power bombs. And uh, they're good for the Metroid fight at the end. So I'll take one. Got to kill you on the way in. Usually, if you just charge a wave shot, it's pretty easy to kill that guy um, before he starts messing you up. Um, not familiar with a fast strat for going this way, so some improvisation there with just some easy jumps. Slope jump off of this. And yeah, this this seed really shows the power of like having Ice Beam last. Because like we only know it can be in so many spots, like pretty much kills off mines. So happy. Uh, pretty sure you can just R jump that, but um, I'm going to get bullied here for a bit, so. If there was like a slope that I could use. Oh well. No, don't, don't use this path, path enough. Yeah, there we go. We are in the end game. We have Ice Redder to use for missiles. Okay. Yeah, we'll take a save. We use a little slope here to make it up there. Oh my god, that was... Ignore that attempt. You kind of get pushed up. Now we wait. So yeah, I'm going to be curious to find where um, main power bombs and grapple beam were. Or not grapple beam, we know where grapple beam is, but when that became logical. Because uh, since ice was available, like could have been in a lot of spots. Just some plasma beam shots, and then we're gonna more from this corner here. When Ridley lands, it'll help position the Ridley so that uh, the AI doesn't want to dash at us. There we go. 
actually gonna hit the boss with boost. Now our usual missile spam. And then the third time we do our mandatory 360 for style. Uh, and of course we get a dash. Uh, it was going so well. There we go. And of course we get the invincibility. Thank you. We love getting into Impact Creator sub hour. Go fast and the Metroids won't bother you. Uh, wave and power. Sucks to not have super missiles. But uh, we'll make do. Let's see if we get ice first. That would be very good. Just not ice last. We've only got a handful of missiles to actually use ice spreaders, so we want to make sure that we're uh, getting the most out of it. Just conserve our missiles for the next phase. Hopefully get a better uh, chance at using ice. Because ice beam on itself does a lot of damage, so... If we can actually hit it, there we go. Like seeing plasma first. Some missiles here, we'll take these guys out. And ice.
there's no power beam phase. So let's see some ice here, that'd be great. Double speed, very nice. We'll take plasma. Alright. Get some good hits in. Nice. Stay there, please. Great. Get another shot on the run by. Oh, almost did get that. Forgot it was double speed. Alright, very good though. Decent enough fight. Down a visor for essence, but uh, should be fine. Good enough. As long as we get a good amount of damage, I'm happy with that. And honestly, we might go for attack cancels here because, um, damage on both these phases. Hopefully we don't have to go back to x-ray. That was a really bad pool. Okay. I messed up. Like we got some some damage, but we missed a lot. So not a great essence fight. My essence needs practice. I know that. Hopefully you have better essence fights. But this was about routing, and we did a pretty good job on routing, so. Yeah, nice. Good enough. Uh, timer? Huh. Uh, control. Alright, 104.40. Something like that. I don't know why my global hotkeys weren't working there. Very cool. That is uh, another seed down. In the uh, the hour range, which is cool. Let's, uh, let's see what we missed. So yeah, um, the really the big thing we sequence broke here was skipping power bombs and grapple beam. 
And like I said, if you know that magma pool dash, great. But we also had gravity and you can literally just jump out of the lava on the other side. So I don't think it was too much to expect from like an intermediate player who this is kind of like... I'm expecting you know beginner tricks, you're trying to get competitive, and this is like stuff you should want to learn. So. Major items. Grapple beam we knew. X-ray was in main quarry, so yeah, we weren't getting that. Power bombs was mine storage depot B, so that was on vanilla grapple. So again, that's, yeah, that's late. And so we're not getting that. Super missiles were in vent shaft. Nope. Wave buster was on Thardis. Central dynamo flamethrower. Yeah, very cool. Awesome. Uh, I really like that one. You know, hour long seeds are great. Uh, hopefully, my thinking came through. Uh, we'll do more of these and I'll try to improve uh, as we go. This is only episode two, so there's room for improvement. Final in-game time. Check it out. 58. Very cool. Awesome. With that, we will see you next mission. Cheers.